Uh, can you describe what you got from him, and uh, what do you, do you think this is something that could be a big building block for him? Yeah, I mean, we, we went with him for his defense. Um, you know, he was playing really well defensively, and, and uh, he was guarding uh, Lamelo, and um, just wanted to stay with him because of uh, the the impact he was making, you know, on the ball and with his energy, and he made uh, huge plays. Um, you know, defensively, and I thought that kind of led to uh, a, a couple of offensive plays. You know, he hit the little floater along the baseline, and then he got the dunk uh, from from JP that kind of sealed it. So um, he was rewarded for you know for that that defensive effort. I thought he was uh, just just brilliant. Steve, f following up on on that, the st the steal that he made, you guys didn't end up scoring off, but that that. To get his hands in there and not foul on that steal was... Um, oh, in the corner when he took it yeah, from him. Yeah, yeah that was <laughs> a difficult play. And yeah. how, how much growth have you seen from him um, recently? Yeah, he looked like Andre Iguodala on that play. You know, that's, a, that's an Andre-type play. And um, I don't think it's a coincidence. Andre's been mentoring him um, throughout the season and, um, and last year. And, um, yeah, he's, he's really... You know, coming a, a long way. I think um, the focus on being a defensive stopper over the last month, he's really kind of found a, a role and settled into it. Uh, along those lines with JK, do you see those pictures falling into place for him? Good defense will likely end up for good opportunities on the other side. What you've been talking about, how the game rewards you? Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's kind of the way it works when you play with energy. Um, and you defend hard, the, the ball tends to go in at the other end. It's just kind of the, the you know, the karma to the game. And um, it, it was uh, ironic because this was a night where we couldn't put the ball in the basket to save our lives. Eight for 37 from three. Um, we are getting some good looks. It was just one of those nights where the, the ball wasn't going in. Uh, so um, it's, it's the kind of game you have to win the way we want it down the stretch, getting stops, getting rebounds, and, and uh, the fact that you know J.K. was at the forefront of, of uh, you know the, the defensive effort. Obviously, Draymond was uh, you know behind the ball, uh, making plays, but the fact that J.K. was uh, you know really setting the tone at that end and then getting rewarded at the other end on a night when we couldn't make shots. It was, it was a fitting way for the game to end, I thought. What did you think of a, a couple of those pool dribbling moves late and just how necessary right now is his creation for you guys? Yeah, Jordan uh, closed the game well with uh, you know a couple of um, couple of spin moves and, and layups, and he had a, I found JK for the dunk on the one. Um, so we need, we need Jordan. Uh, we need his uh, ability to break the defense down and, and create offense for us, and uh, he, he did a good job of that tonight. Do you think tonight at different points in the game, maybe you guys got a little bit you know, too much three-point happy, maybe could have attacked Charlotte in different ways? Uh, I didn't think we were three point happy because um, they were good looks. Um, you know, I, I didn't see many bad ones. Maybe there were a couple. I thought we actually turned down a, a few. Um, so again, sometimes the shots don't go in. I could feel the game um, changing though mid second quarter. I, I didn't like our energy um, after the great start uh, to the first quarter. I thought in the second quarter we got a little careless and we we didn't uh, we weren't running the floor we weren't sprinting back we were fouling um we made some careless plays and that allowed them to to get back in it what did you think uh of the defensive effort uh, were you a little bothered by the penetrations um maybe mostly in the second half there yeah but the, but you know they're a, a tough team to keep in front of you uh especially with with lamello um you know out top with the high screen and roll so uh they they got um you know they got into the paint some, but uh, like I said, we I thought we did a good job down the stretch of um, challenging without fouling. Um, and then the one foul down the stretch um, by Draymond was uh, just brilliant. You know, we uh, he knows that that uh, Plumley struggles from the line, and um, you know he he knew that if Plumley got the ball in the paint, he was going to foul him. And um, that's why Draymond is uh, he's the smartest 
defensive player I've ever seen. Just um, not just in games, but in our film sessions, um, everything he points out. Um, he is so on top of the game. Uh, it's incredible to watch his uh, his mind work out there, um, both in in practice and in games. I was going to ask you about that play. Was that did you? Discussed that beforehand, like, hey, you know, if Plumley gets it, foul. We talked him. about it in shoot around that we, we, you know, we could foul him. I think we fouled him in Charlotte a couple of times um, late in the game. But uh, Kenny came into the huddle and mentioned it. You know, if Plumley gets it n- near the basket, we can foul. And and Draymond had that on his mind, and I think he, uh, you know, he kind of was was baiting that pass and hoping that that uh, you know they'd make that pass and then then he did a great job of boxing out on the second one uh, that missed uh, Plumley's tough he, he always gives us uh, a really tough time he's um, you know he kind of clogs up our offense he sits in the middle of the paint and he's really mobile and uh, last time in Charlotte I thought he was um, one of the keys to their win and uh, he played well again tonight um, but um, I thought that was a, a great play by by Draymond to, to make the to, to make the foul and then um, you know get the rebound on the free throw. Steve Dante didn't score, but he's obviously like instrumental. Uh, what has he done to just ingratiate himself? Uh, especially, he's not he's not old, but he you know he plays like a guy who is the veteran you need. Been around, there. yeah. Well, compared to the rest of our team, he's he's old, so he's. Uh, He's a. What I like about him is he just got a nose for the ball. I mean, he just is constantly um, in the mix for loose balls, long rebounds. He anticipates really well, and he just competes. You know, he plays really hard. And uh, tonight the shots weren't going in, but uh, you know, the last couple of weeks he's been really shooting well. Uh, I think he's found a, a good groove, kind of. Um, you know, with the with the extra playing time, with some of the injuries that we've had, and he's gotten more and more comfortable. Uh, you know, playing with with our guys. Hey, Steve, I know coming into the season, you want to see Jordan's defense improve. How do you feel like he's doing that area so far this year? I think at times he's he's doing well. I think that's that's uh, there's another level Jordan can get to for sure. Um, just in terms of. Uh, you know, defending without fouling and and um, getting back transition wise. I mean, there's there's ways that he can continue to improve. His his offensive game has been um, brilliant. You know, all the sh- the shot making and what he's creating for us out there. What I love about Jordan is that he puts in the time and he's very coachable. You know, he um, he listens. We have, we talk a lot on off days and watch film and and uh, you know he's uh, he's a guy who puts in the work, puts in the time. And that's kind of the next, you know, next step for him is uh, to, to, to get better defensively. And, and I know he'll put in the work. Do you know what the plan is for tomorrow with Clay Thompson going on the back end of a black? Not back-to-back? yet. We'll talk to the training staff, um, you know, after tonight. I, you know, I, I would say Clay's doubtful. He played 38 minutes and, um, you know, but I'll check with the staff to, to see what, uh, what, we're, what we're thinking. What did you just think about Clay? He started the game hot and he had some offensive lulls as the whole team did, but you're going to need, you know, performances like this from him with. Yeah, Clay was great. Um, I thought he was, he was patient. I thought, um, you know, the other night against Memphis, I I loved his game, even though shots didn't go in for him. Um, I thought he competed uh, really well and um, did the same thing tonight, but he knew we needed. Uh, some scoring from him, you know, given that Wiggs is still out and obviously Steph. So um, I thought Clay played a, a great, great game.